Hey guys, um, I wanted to review my muskrat and razor knife here. Um, I know these are two completely separate patterns, um, but they're both pretty unique and I bought them at the same place on the same day. So I thought I'd review them together. Um, we'll go ahead and start off with the muskrat here. Uh, this is in pocket worn uh, orange harvest bone with a golden bomb shield and pinch bolsters. Um, the muskrat is unique in where it has two California clip blades. Um, this is used on a medium stockman frame, similar to the 47's frame. Um, this knife is unique in the sense that where the serial number should be, all it says is muskrat. Um, as you can see there. Now normally, the way a serial number will work, um, and I will show you with this knife, this is a seahorse whittler, it says six. The first number will always indicate the handle material, so six stands for bone. So if this had a regular one, this would start off with six. And then the next number on here, the second number is three. That indicates three blades on this knife. Now this one would have two as its second number. And then the number after that is the pattern number. So this one would be 55 for the Seahorse Whittler. Now this one doesn't have a pattern number or really, or it might have a pattern number but I don't know it because it is not on the tag step. All it says is muskrat, which is pretty unique. I think it's weird that they did that only with the muskrat. It would make more sense if they did it with all or none. Um, that's just my personal opinion, but I like the muskrat. It's a unique, unique style of knife. Uh, and that's why I bought it is because I thought it was unique and cool. And plus, I want to get one of every type. However, it's not one that I would want to buy again. It's not a favorite pattern of mine. But every now and then I like to take it out and look at it and clean it because it is a pretty unique pattern. It's different from others. Um, and the history behind this is that back in the day when, when the trapper would catch his uh, muskrats, which is what this was named after, or his beavers or any you know small game, he would have to skin them. And you would think that that would be used for the trapping, trapper knife, but uh, the trapper knife was actually used more by hunters. And um, it would be used by trappers, but they preferred the muskrat actually because they could use two California clip blades. So they could be skinning their beaver and it could this blade could go dull. And then they would still have like maybe four beavers left so they would they could just open up the same blade and keep going um and then when they got home that night they could sharpen them both and st basically you have two knives in one with this so that's why it was very popular and i thought that was neat uh with the history behind that knife now this one here's a razor knife um this one is very unique you don't see this knife a lot and that's why I picked it up, because it's super unique. This one's a limited edition, one of 2,500. Um, and if you actually look at the serial number for this one, it says 6, because it is uh, Midnight Blue Bone. This is also really cool, because it's got the sh uh, Saturn shield. And this is my only knife that has that shield, which I think is really neat. Um... It's got two for two blades, and then uh, five, zero, zero, five for the pattern number. Um, this also has half stops for both blades. Now, uh, it's got its regular pin blade here. But the reason it's called a razor knife is because of this razor blade here. Um, this is also referred to sometimes as a one-handed man's knife because... Uh, my grandfather actually told me this back in the day if there was a one-handed man or a one-armed man He would get this knife because the indention in this blade 
you could hook it on your jeans uh, loop, your jeans belt loop, and open it up that way, um, which I thought was the, at first I didn't believe him, I thought, well, that was really random, uh, but that's that's actually true, um, and that's, that's something that's pretty cool about this knife. It's also neat that it has such a long bolster. Um, you don't see that very often in a traditional knife besides like a Barlow. Um, so that's something pretty cool about this knife. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video, show you these two pretty interesting knives. Um, I bought these both at the flea market on the same day for a pretty good deal. I got them both for 60 bucks, um, which 30 bucks a piece, I'd pay 30 bucks for just about any case knife being in good condition. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to make this video. Sorry if I sound real nasally again. Uh, it's that time of the year. Um, it should be going away pretty soon, but pollen in the air is killing me right now. I have pretty bad allergies, so excuse my voice, but thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.